Yo, what's up, YouTube? Yeah, um, alright, man, this is the uh, post fight video on the Sergio Martinez Julio Cesar Chavez fight. Happened last weekend. Um, I'm gonna get into some to some thoughts on the Canelo fight and the Rigan Dion fight, too. Uh, not not too much, man. I don't really have a whole lot of shit to say about the Canelo fight. Because uh, I, I thought it was a garbage ass fight, but we'll get into it anyways. Um, yeah, so, so. Sergio Martinez, Julio Cesar Chavez. Um, my prediction, the prediction I made was that, uh, in short, Chavez, uh, Martinez was going to outbox Chavez, but for for the majority of the fight, up until like the seventh or eighth round, and at some point Chavez would uh, would, would turn it up and uh, and get a stoppage. You know, and I, I compared it to a Cotto Margarito one. Um, I guess that I guess that didn't happen, man. Ch Martinez Martinez outboxed the shit out of Chavez. Up until about the 11th, about around the 11th round, Chavez started to turn it up a little bit, and in the 12th round, uh, you know, we all know what happened. In the 12th round, Chavez caught him with a nice little combo, sent him to the canvas, and and he had him hurt, man. He had him, he had Martinez hurt for a second there, and uh, you know, watching it from my living room, man, uh, you know, I put a, I put a little something on 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 Chavez, uh, which is why I didn't even do the video uh, right away. Uh, I put put a little money on Chavez and watching it from my living room, man. I thought he was gonna get the stoppage. I was going crazy, um, screaming, screaming like a motherfucker, man. I really thought he was gonna get the stoppage there. I, I ended up actually losing my voice, so I didn't I didn't put a video out right away. But um, Martinez held on, and he actually he actually fought back. He didn't really he wasn't holding and, and and running away. He actually fought back a little bit. But um, you know who knows? Had there been a little bit more time. Uh, you know, I feel like maybe he might have been able to get him out of there, but uh, but he didn't, he didn't, he didn't do that, and that's because I don't think he put the work in in the middle rounds. There was a, there was a there was a point there to where a lot of people are saying uh, that it seemed like Chavez was was a little bit scared or a little bit intimidated, and I think I know the the, the, the point in the fight that they're talking about. Um, in the middle rounds, Martinez caught him with a shot, an uppercut that had him bleeding out of the mouth, and then maybe a round or so later, he caught him in the nose. He had him leaking there too. And I think at some point panic started to set in. He kept on pawing at his at his at his nose and trying to wipe the blood from his nose because he clearly he couldn't he couldn't breathe out of his mouth because of the blood. And you know to be bleeding from the the mouth and and the nose is uh you know it's fucked up because at that point you really you really can't you really can't breathe for shit you know both both of your passages are blocked. So it looked like panic was starting to set in. Um, in the earlier in the earlier rounds he was getting hit by Chav uh, Martinez. And he was doing his, uh, you know, he was doing like the little dance with his legs and saying, you know, come on, you know, you can't, you, you ain't hitting, you know, you don't hit hard or whatever the case is. Uh, but he stopped doing that shit. You know, as soon as he started bleeding, he stopped doing that shit. And at, at that point, I thought that it looked, you know, the situation was look, looking kind of rough for him. But um, all in all, I thought it was a dope fight, man. I thought it was, I thought it was a pretty cool fight. I wouldn't mind seeing a rematch. I know there's a lot of people out there, say, out there saying that, that there is no no need for a rematch, but um, shit, just on the strength of that 12th round, man, on the strength of that 12th round, I think that uh, you know, that was worth my 60 bucks, you know, and I and and I have a feeling that if it, if they do it again, that that it's gonna be a little bit more close, a little bit more competitive. I really didn't expect it to be so one-sided, but at any rate. What I really want to talk about the, uh, in this video is, and, and, and the main theme of this video is that you can't you can't have it both ways, man. As a boxing fan, you can't have things both ways, um, and in life in life in general, you just can't have shit both ways. Uh, <coughs> I got a lot of people saying that. Let, let's let's just put this shit out there, man. Uh, Sergio Martinez last weekend did not shake up the world, man. He didn't he didn't he didn't pull off an upset victory. He was a favorite going into the fight. He was almost a two to one favorite. I know because I put money on it. You know? He was almost a two to one favorite going into this fight. And 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 when you take into consideration the fact that there was probably a lot of Mexicans that were putting money on Chavez, that, that leads me to believe he was probably closer to a three to one favorite if they had no fan bases. If they just both showed up and and fucking, you know, it was even. And people were putting their money up even. The bookies would have had the fight Martinez probably a three to one favorite going into this going into the uh going into the fight. He didn't shake up the boxing world. He was supposed to win this fight. Three to one or two to one is fucking is pretty much you're supposed to win that fight. You understand what I'm saying? So 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 height, weight, age, all that shit aside, Sergio Martinez was is a top five pound for pound fighter. Um I think Chavez might have been a top twenty, a top twenty five pound for pound fighter. 
but he stepped up and fought the dude and he lost, which is which is what's what was supposed to happen. You know? But you can't ha you can't say Chavez is garbage and he's a whack fighter and he ain't shit and in the same breath give Sergio Martinez all the praise and all the accolades for beating a dude that you just said ain't shit. You know, and we've been through this we've been through this with, with a bunch of fighters. Sometimes I think the hatred that Chavez receives kind of blinds people's uh fucking boxing IQ or intelligence or some shit, you know? And I'm not even this isn't sour grapes because I lost money or because I was wrong on a prediction. I'm just I'm just calling it like I see it, you know? Like fucking you know, he 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 yeah, Martinez outboxed the shit out of him. But he had, you know, he was he almost he almost got stopped, and that's another thing, man. You know, people want to take away the twelfth round, like it didn't happen. No, the twelfth round happened. That shit happened. Ask Martinez. You know, he was on he was on fucking Queer Street in the twelfth round. You know, you can't say, oh, well, well, round one through eleven. Well, no, the twelfth round almost almost erased everything that happened. Round one through eleven. You understand what I'm saying? It didn't happen, but it almost did. You know, and that in itself you know, should should give you an idea, like, all right, well then, what the fuck, nobody expected Chavez to go in there and box with him, you know, if you were picking Chavez to win, the only way you could see it was a, was a late stoppage, and that, that almost happened, so they, they, they pretty much both did what they set out to do, with the, with the exception for the fact that Chavez didn't finish it, he didn't finish the job, you understand what I'm saying, now, if you want to say that, that, that you did think Chavez was a good fighter, and then Sergio surprised you by by beating him, and then you and you and then you want to give him props for that. That's fine. I got no problem with that. You know. Then we got then we got the, the theory that it was that it was a lucky punch. Um, I I don't believe in that ever in any circumstance in boxing. I don't believe in that shit. You know, if Danny if when Danny Garcia caught Khan, if, if you want to call that a well timed fucking punch, but not give Chavez his his props for, for the punch he landed, or you want to call, uh, you know, say that Martinez's punch was not a lucky punch, and but you can't have it both ways. I don't see any punch lucky in boxing. At the end of the day, you know, if Sergio Martinez got careless in the 12th round, or he wanted to put on a show or make it a show, and he got caught, well then shit, he almost got knocked the fuck out. He almost paid for that. And and his job as a professional fighter is to not is to hit and not get hit. And he got hit if he got careless. And Chavez's job is is for when somebody gets careless to capitalize on it, and that's what he did. You understand what I'm saying? Every knockout that happens in boxing, every knockout that happens in this sport, is a result of to, to some effect somebody getting careless and getting caught with something. If you throw punches, and every time you throw your punch, you get your 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 glove back to your chin, or you get your guard right back up, and you're always in a defensive position, then you ain't never gonna get knocked out. The people that get knocked out are people that, at, you know, whether whether it's a tiny mistake or a big mistake, at, at the end of the day, they made a, a, a mistake. It was a mental lapse, and they made a mistake, and there was a, a hole in their defense, and the other person capitalized it on it and fucking knocked them out. That's how these things happen. So again, you know, there's just there's just like a lot of there's just like a lot of theories. You would think that Travis won the fight. There's like a lot of shit, you know, like like a lot of theories as to why the 12th round happened. It happened. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like I said, man, I'd, I'd watch. I'd watch a rematch. You know, I don't. I don't see why not. You know, people are saying that it was so one-sided, and, 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 and why watch a rematch? You know, if he got if he got schooled. Well, you know, I don't know. That 12th round for me, that 12th round was worth my money. So that's what it is with that. Um, I'm not a fan of Chavez. You know, if if you had to, if I had to put money on it and say if he's if he's doing some shit to be able to cut that much weight and come in that much bigger, I'd probably say yeah, he probably is cheating. He's probably is he probably is on some on some shit. You know, I'm not a I'm not like a fucking huge Chavez supporter, but what does what does bother me is how some of the same people can 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 knock Chavez for you know at 26 years old stepping up and fighting a a, a, a pound for pound top five dude how many 26 year olds in the sport are fighting dudes that are in the, in the top in the top five pound for pound you know what I'm saying how many dudes are doing there's not there's, I, I don't think that there's anybody really you know and if there is let me know I, I'm uh, maybe I'm maybe I'm you know maybe I'm missing somebody but they ain't nobody there ain't nobody at that age that is, that's fighting guys in the top five it just doesn't happen uh, Ortiz just well shit Ortiz just did it I think but I'm, I'm not sure if he was 26 
Yeah, he might. Yeah, he might be around there, 25, 26. But whatever. Ortiz just did it. But there's not really a whole lot of dudes doing that. You know, you got people that in the same breath they're knocking Chavez. They're giving Canelo props for beating the shit out of a kid that had no no fucking. Uh, he had no business being in the ring with him, man. Jose <laughs> Cinco Lopez looked like he didn't even train. You know, he fucking he looked fat in the ring, and Canelo's just beating the shit out of him from pillar to post. You know, and he gets credit for that. He doesn't want to fight anybody in his weight division. He's got an excuse to not fight anybody in his weight division. And he's beating the shit out of a kid. Two weight divisions under him that, it fucking, that, that a year ago nobody knew who the fuck he was. He, he, you know, he lucked up and beat Victor Ortiz. And then all of a sudden, you know, you're going to give him the praise for that? I, 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 really, I really can't, I can't see it. I can't see how you could, uh, you know, how it can go both ways like that. I really don't, you know. I really don't know how, how it can go both ways like that. Canelo, to me... You know, if you had to ask me, Chavez has, as, as of late, has, well, shit, Chavez has the better resume than Canelo. Period. Chavez has fought the better opposition than Canelo. Sergio Martinez is better than anybody. If you gathered up all the fighters that Canelo fought, is better than anybody he's ever fought. And Canelo's waiting around to fucking fight, to fight Floyd Mayweather. You know why, you know why he wants to fight Mayweather? Because it's a win-win. If he loses to Mayweather, he lost to the best in the world. If he beats him, then the sky's the limit. You know, and at the end of the day, he's still trying to fight a fucking welterweight. You know, or he's waiting around to fight <laughs> to fight Cotto. You know, but he doesn't want to fight. He doesn't want to fight Lara. He doesn't want to fight K9. He doesn't want to fight Trout. He doesn't want to fight uh, Vanez. You know, he wants to fight Cotto or Mayweather. Yeah, because because you're in a position because you, you've been put in a position to where you can. You know, you can almost call the shots. In in your division. And if you want to be real, the reason why you're in that position is because you're is because you're a fucking a red-headed Mexican. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. You're Mexican and you have red hair and you have some sort of skill and ability. That's it. You know, you lucked up in the gene pool. That's pretty much it. And if you and if you've got another idea for why Canelo is so was so highly uh you know, was thought of so highly as a prospect. You tell me, because I, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm missing it. Um, the Rig and the Out fight. I have, I have a feeling Donaire is gonna want to step up and fight him now. I don't know. Something, something tells me, man. He saw, he saw, he saw uh, Guillermo get caught with that shot. Um, and I think now he's gonna say, well, shit, I, I could probably land, I could land my left hook on him. You know. I gotta admit, man, that, that kind of scared me, man. He got caught with that shot on the top of the head, and he didn't seem to take it too well, you know. And two times, man, he got caught on the top of the head. I think if he was in there with a closer, if he was in there with somebody that, that's, that's known for finishing shit, um, that's maybe a little bit more experienced, I think at some point uh, Guillermo would have had to have taken a knee. You know, but he remained, he remained calm under pressure, and he was able to, uh, you know, I mean, it, it really didn't seem like, it really didn't seem like like uh, Marroquin knew knew what to do when he heard him. You know what I'm saying? Because he should have just he should have just started wailing on him, um, but he didn't. You know, that that was a little bit scary, man. If you asked me if you asked me two weeks ago who's gonna be uh, who would win Rigan Diaw and Donaire, I would have said by by landslide, uh, Rigan Diaw. But um, now I guess I guess I, you know you have you have to. You have to admit that there is a reality that you know what Donaire can land. He can land some shit on him. He can land some shit on him, and 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 that can change the fight. I still got I still got Guillermo beating him, but I think that he needs to. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I think he need. I think he needs to fucking to, to 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 work on on not maybe not getting hit with those shots, you know. And that that might be part of that might be part of the reason why he doesn't throw a whole lot of punches. Maybe there's something that he knows that we might not know. I don't know, you know. But I was real. I was surprised at how how affected he was by the shots on the top of the head. Um, Dante made a comment about how he's been, you know, he's been an amateur fighter for so long and wearing the headgear and the bigger gloves that that's something that would that would take uh, some getting used to. And um, and I and to a certain extent I believe that. Maybe, you know, maybe that's why it does affect him on you know on the top you're getting hit on the top of the head and where there's normally padding there with a smaller glove, you know, it's maybe affecting him in a different way. But but either either way, um, you know, if he, if the, if the Donaire fight does come along, he's gonna have to work on maybe not getting hit there, or 
or just you know or just or just get a little bit more accustomed to to taking taking those shots and taking them a little bit better because I guarantee you if, if Nonito lands a shot like that he's gonna try to finish it he's gonna try to close the show so um you know that that's pretty much it man and no in no way shape or form am I a fucking uh am I like a a, a staunch Julio she's a Chavez supporter you know what I'm saying I I, re I really am not man but you know if you're gonna say if you're gonna say that Chavez is garbage, and you're gonna say that Martinez is the shit for beating a garbage fighter, then you know I can't, I, I really can't rock with that. You know, it's gotta be one, it's gotta be one or the other. You know, the two things can't go together at the same time. You know, and that's pretty much the point to this whole video. So, um, let me know in the comment sections. Hit me up. Um, and that's pretty much it, man.